What's going on, Mother Truckers? If you have a great PSA, I definitely send it to mothertruckernews at gmail.com so we can share it with other truck drivers, especially new drivers out there, because we don't want something like this happening to you. So Austin uh, recently emailed me and said, my buddy I know made a U-turn on a two-lane road and got stuck. He said he was following his GPS and it told him to make it. I don't know how to get all the snap crap off. He was in the Ogburn, Texas, headed to a Ozarka water plant. The ironic thing is, if he would have stayed straight, he would have gone to the plant. Man, I butchered that. <laughs> yeah. People are going to find out real quick that I can't read good, but my comprehension is good. All right. Sit down here. What? You're gonna read this for the first time because <laughs> you like making fun of me. So, all right, sit down here, and then I'm going to. All right, ready? Read that. The title. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Sorry. The title. No, you gotta read. Just read the whole thing. Video PSA not to do a U-turn on a two-lane road. My buddy I know made a U-turn on a two-lane road and got stuck. He said he was following his GPS and it told him to make it. I don't know how to get all the snap, oh, all the snap crap off. He was in Ogburn, Texas, headed to Ozarka water plant. The ironic thing is if he would have stayed straight, he would have got to the plant. Yeah, that was better than me. <laughs> I was like, I was like. Oh. I know you got stuck at Ozarka. Huh? But I think That's because- not a real place. No, I'm Ozark. just kidding. <laughs> I know, but I think because there's no periods in there, like it was just all don't make fun on. of Don't make fun of Austin. No, I'm just saying like it was just kind of like, Austin, you know. she's saying she, you can't no, no, write. No, 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 no. He can write. I know where to stop. You just don't know where to stop. So yeah, next time when periods. you write to him, Austin, periods <laughs> because he can read comprehension low, okay? <laughs> Reading low comprehension oh, I mean <laughs> high. Jerk. <laughs> you know what I meant. Yeah. I got good comprehension, I just can't read good. Yeah, reading's low, comprehension <laughs> high. Like, what the hell? What was that? I, I, I didn't know if you were going to just roll with it or they're going to uh, stop. I apologize, people. So, uh, yeah, this video PSA is basically to say not to do a U-turn. And then he emails me again and says, uh, sorry, almost forgot. He did get a ticket and he said the tow bill was $8,000. So, Mother Truckers, I just... Realize one thing here, um, for all truck drivers, uh, don't make a U-turn if it's not safe to do one, but if you think it's absurd to uh, get fired for doing a U-turn, uh, it does sound that way, but just know that there's a lot of mega carriers and a lot of companies that actually have it in their company policy that uh, you are not allowed to do a U-turn, and if you do a U-turn, you will get fired, right? And so that sounds kind of crazy, but... I guess they're looking at it at a li liability standpoint. Uh, Mother Truckers, comment down below. Do you work for a company where if you do a U-turn, uh, you could get let go for that? You know, definitely comment that down below. But so others know, one thing's for sure. Um, do not try to do a U-turn on a two-lane road. Uh, definitely, uh, it's going to take some years to learn about the spacing with a truck and trailer. You know what I'm talking about, mother truckers out there, you know, especially the owner operators out there that drive the same truck and trailer every single day. Um, you understand the spacing and just how much maneuvering you could do in your tractor trailer. And when you're new, it might look like you can make a U-turn, but it's not always the case, right? Uh, mother truckers, uh, definitely a PSA to all the new drivers um, do not do a U-turn on a two-lane road. And number two, uh, definitely trip plan. But if you get lost and it can't happen, it doesn't matter if you have a phone, a truck, or GPS, or what. It, you just get lost. It can happen. You're in a new space and you're not quite sure where the heck it is. And it's even worse when you ask the shipper for any advice because they'll always just tell you, yeah, just keep on going straight. You'll make it, you know. And, oh, yeah, that truck can get in. You know, you hear that so many dang times that you know you could make you could become a millionaire right how many times a, a shipper or a dispatcher told you that you could get in no problem right and you find out that 
there's only enough room for a box truck. But mother truckers, what advice do you have for truck drivers out there uh, when doing a U-turn? And what experiences have you had with that? But 100%, I mean, you can't even get mad at trucking companies for this because if it's a part of their policy, you got to play their game, right? You're working for them. But, you know, Austin, I appreciate you for the email. Uh, thank you so much. And 1,000%, man, uh, wishing your friend the best. $8,000 bill is a hefty bill. And uh, people get let go for less. But hopefully, uh, you know, your buddy can find another job with this. But for everyone else, um, hopefully this is a great PSA for all of you. And comment down below. Thank you. Let's do you one, man. What's, what's your name, bro? Andy Garcia. You know, how long you been trucking? Two years now. You know, uh, how old are you? Uh, 23 years old. You know, what's the dream? Uh, being an owner operator and, uh, I don't know, just be a free uh, self-employed. I heard that, man. Um, everybody says it's hard to be an owner operator right now, but you still want to do it? Yeah, I'll be trying my best to try to get my own truck one day. Take my time, get the most experience down, and wait for the truck prices, the prices for the trucks to drop, and then make my move. I love you, man. Hey, man, at the end of the day, for people that are new to trucking, any advice? Oh, for sure. Uh, take your time. You know, there's no rush. You could always end up trying to take the test again. It's tough. It's tough at first. It is a little intimidating, but at the end of the day, it's only a vehicle, and you could drive that bad boy. You know. Woo! Take it dirty in the fuel island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> always try to try to keep in mind for truckers, you know, because sometimes California out here, man, they're cutting you off left and right. You know, I'm not trying trying to not let you in, and it's tough out here. I heard that, man. Appreciate cool. you, bro. Hell yeah. What's up? Nice Who are you, sir? <laughs> Jared. You know, how long you been trucking? Uh, seven years. Seven Owner years. Operator for four and a half. What's the name of your trucking company? Starns Trucking. Is that one right there, people? You know, um, uh, give us some advice, man, for the new ones. Uh, get into it. Don't get into it. What's up? For sure, get into it, but don't overpay for your truck, and make sure your driving record's clean before you go shopping for insurance. Best advice Shop I heard all day. Best rates possible. Hell yeah, bro. Yes, sir.